Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Biden, tones, subtext, and coverage. And coverage. Because something was said, and I, I feel like they're going to stop the quote too soon. And people may, uh, may miss the most important part. Okay, so what happened, right? Biden gave an interview. And in it... He said a lot of things in public that have been said privately for months. He's been creeping around in the background saying this privately to Israel. But now it's in public. Okay, so he said that he thought Netanyahu was, quote, hurting Israel more than helping. Again, this isn't a surprise if you've been keeping up with the foreign policy stuff, the diplomatic side of things goes on to say that he's got to pay more attention to, to efforts to eliminate or mitigate civilian loss. Again, not a surprise. The U.S. has been putting pressure on Israel over this for months. But now he's saying it publicly. The part that uh, is most interesting, though, and I think where the coverage may fail, is when they're talking about Rafa and a potential Israeli offensive into Rafa. Biden describes it as a red line. And when pressed, he says, it is a red line, but I'm never going to leave Israel. And I feel like that's where the quote is going to stop. What comes next is arguably the most important part of anything that was said. It is a red line, but I'm never going to leave Israel. The defense of Israel is still critical. So there's no red line. I'm going to cut off all weapons so they don't have the Iron Dome to protect them. And even that, it's, it's buried in subtext. I'm not going to cut off all weapons so they don't have the Iron Dome. Specifically naming a defensive system. I don't think that's an accident. This may be the U.S. signaling that it is ready to cut offensive military aid. Again, we've talked about it. They can't cut all aid um, for a whole bunch of masters of the universe, sphere of influence, foreign policy stuff, international poker game where everybody's cheating. Cutting offensive aid, honestly, not something I thought the Biden administration would do. Um, this is something that, to my knowledge, hasn't been signaled in private, but I don't know everything. Um, it going public like that, in that fashion, is, is a sign. Um, it is a shift in at least tone of American foreign policy. Whether or not he follows through on it, well, that's anybody's guess. Um, I would point out there's a lot of people who didn't think they would do the airdrops, or didn't think they would do the pier, um, and there's a bunch more information about that coming. Some of it's good, some of it's bad, some of it's tragic. Um, I just think that this is uh, important to get out first because if the U.S. follows through with this, other politicians in Israel are going to have to take notice. Um, realistically, is it going to change the, the situation on the ground? Not much. Not really. But it, it's a signal. It's a sign. Um, the, the reason the Biden administration is so concerned about any move into Rafah is, sure, the humanitarian side. But again, as, as we've talked about, regardless of how we want foreign policy to be, foreign policy is not about morality. It, it's, it's about power. That's what it's about. The concern of the Biden administration, no doubt, is a humanitarian issue occurring during Ramadan and how that 
might inflame a wider conflict regionally. Remember in the beginning, we were talking about how that's pretty much all the Biden administration was focused on, was trying to stop it from expanding. This is the same thing. The subtext of this is big. Um, don't know if it will be effective. Don't know if they would follow through on it if it doesn't sway, uh, if it doesn't sway Netanyahu. But it being said and being said publicly when it hadn't even leaked out as being said privately it is bigger news than I think people are going to give it credit for. Um, so a shift to just providing defensive systems, it would be a massive shift in U.S. foreign policy in the Middle East. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.